Hey, I'm back. That machining is messy. Drop one little thing. So yeah, so that's gonna get welded onto that. And then I'll just cut the cut the little dealy out. However it fits, right? Uh, it'll look a little it'll be a lot more stiffer. I'll get the get all three bolts on that thing at least. So right now there's only two bolts. You see the one back there? And there's one on the bottom. The guy who put this together, like he had it taken apart. This is upside down. I'm like, where's the witness mark? And I'm like, reach underneath, and there it is. So, so there's that. Uh, there's also a little spring-loaded detent here. He, uh, he didn't have that in there either. Plus, the split nut was upside down. That's just terrific. Well, there's all the good stuff right here. These are the guys I'm trying to... I would really like to use these again. Those are the bolt, the gears for the for this guy. Right under here, the one that's attached directly to the shaft is missing about four teeth. So right now, I can only that's why I can only use two gears because uh, three gears makes a makes my carriage go in the wrong direction. So we're using a lathe to fix a lathe. Uh, that's for those gears, though. I I can't do that. That's uh, that little stuff right in there. That's a little beyond my capabilities, so that's pretty much as similar to what's in there, so I'm going to have to probably pony up the cash and go to eBay and pick that up. I'm really loving this thing, though. I can't believe how messy machining is. It's unbelievable. But now I'm getting a little, getting a little more uh, brave, you know, you get a little deeper cuts of <laughs> at a time it's not taking quite so long. I was getting a really, really tiny, tiny chicken shit. Uh, well, really tiny. They're really, 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 really tiny. Let's see if we can get that focusing on that. There you go. Tiny, tiny little, little noodles. But, uh, now we're getting some, some little better ones. I'd say that's much more better. So I'm loving this shit, man. I could, I could do this forever. So I don't know. A little shout out to any of my friends out there if they got uh, any expertise in the in the matter. I'd be very happy to uh, take any criticism they got. Like I'm not sure how a guy's supposed to go about doing something like this. I'm gonna make a couple tools, one for each side, and just try to uh, you know square that up and. Well, this is going to get all cut off anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. But I do want to square this part off. And like on the other one, there's only a sixteenth of an inch of material there, so it was really not ideal for welding anything to it. Yeah, so that's my first machining project, my first real one anyway. It's actually turning out not too bad. You know, it's, it's passable for, for a guy like me, for sure. Yeah, let's get a little more tooled up, you know, slightly better bench grinder would be ideal. <laughs> yeah, and some more drill bits because, uh, I don't know, this one I cut right off and sharpened with the grinder as well. The bench grinder, sorry. Um, yeah, so while you have a good night, I'm going to... Go eat some supper, I think, and play with my dog. Because machining is a very time extensive uh, job. You sure wouldn't know it to know it on YouTube. I guess that's all with that four times the speed and uh, that A bomb guy doing 200, 200 thou depths of cuts. It makes it go a little bit faster. <laughs> all right, guys, have a good night.